What's up YouTube? It's Toron and bringing you another episode of our Feed the Beast Let's Play. And today I'm going to be taking you to make a few machines. Uh, I've been getting them prepared in my project tables here. Uh, we're going to be making ourselves an MFE, an industrial electrolyzer, a jetpack, electric jetpack, and some uh, long fall boots. So first of all, we'll come here, the jetpack. I went ahead and created everything we needed for it. It's pretty simple. You need a bat box, uh, advanced circuits. Uh, the bat box is pretty simple. Um, the advanced circuit, that's straightforward. And that. So now we have a jetpack, which we need to charge. Come on. This one. Watch as it drains the life from the uh, bat box here. Shouldn't take it too long to actually fully charge that. Yeah. And it's almost done. Whoop. All right. So now we have a jetpack. Sweet. All right. Now, um, the jetpack. Let's make the long fall boots next. And we need two of those. And that. What I'll do is I'll enchant these later. Um, but for now, the long fall boots will keep us from taking any damage with the jetpack. At least I'm pretty sure. Yep. So now, I think it's M for hover mode. At least I thought it was M for hover mode. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. Either way, that's done. Now, this here is the industrial electrolyzer. I have went ahead and got all the components ready. Um, the extractor, pretty easy. Um, the electrolyzer, again, really simple. And the uh, this was even the magnetizer is really simple. So now we have an industrial electrolyzer. And these are all going to be leading towards making solar panels to be more efficient energy-wise. And now we're going to make ourselves an MFE. So first you're going to make a bunch of cables. Because it's always good to have cables. And now we need to make ourselves four of these crystals. One, two, two. They don't stack. Three, four. All right. Perfect. And then now, we do this and this. I think this is the correct recipe. Yep. All right. And now we have an MFE, first one ever. So, we're going to have to hook up the MFE to these bat boxes beneath, uh, beneath us. So we can utilize this. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll have to put it right here. MFE, industrial electrolyzer, sweet. And due to the power consumption, thank you. Um, all right, maybe we don't need this one here. 
This is going to leech over there. It's not what I want it to do. I mean, essentially, it's probably dry. Yeah, it's draining that thing dry. I wanted it to leach off of both of them. Um, all right, let me get back to you guys here momentarily while I get this sorted out, and I'll get back with you. All right, and I'm back, and I have this working. Um, we're going to go ahead and try it with some more. I've tried it once with some sand. It worked fine. Uh, so we're going to do 16 more because I'm going to need, I think, two of these cells. Let's see. And there we go. It'll go ahead and process that. And then while we're waiting for that, I want to make a industrial blast for this. I've got all the components ready for it. Um, and this we need in order to make... Um, we're going to need this in order to do the... Uh, to eventually make ourselves um, some solar panels. So what I've done is I've I cleared out an area. I created the casing for it already. Um, now we have that. And we're good. We've got the green plus on the outside. So now we can do the carbon plating and create the silicone plates and stuff that we're going to need in order to create solar panels. So if we hit here and we go to the recipe for solar panels. Um, these easy generators I have, glass, it's these guys. I need to take two silicon cells through the blast furnace to get me silicon plates. So that is what I'm doing. I have one silicon cell. I'm waiting for this one. Ah, we got this one now. We're going to need to do that two more times. Um, two of those, 16 of those. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. I wonder how much power I have in that. Oh, still good. So then we're going to come here, two of those. Do I need TNT? Hmm. I might need some industrial TNT. Which I'm thinking I'm going to need. All right, another silicon cell. We need one more. And I need to figure out if I need TNT or not for the blast furnace. Which, no, my luck, I will. Um, TNT. Industrial TNT needs flint, and I need three TNT. All right. Luckily, I've been collecting gunpowder from creepers. Um, so give me a minute here. I will be right back with you guys after I've gotten together the TNT for this next part. All right, guys. I am back with some industrial TNT. And let's see. Does it need more than one? Maybe I'm just not getting at the juice that it needs.
No, it should be getting plenty. Hmm. Um, give me a minute here. I'm going to get an EU reader and I'll be back. We'll see what's going on. All right, I'm back. I had a <clears throat> excuse me, I had to rewire this. Um, I had to move the MFV down so that way I could reach the top of it, which is the power out. Otherwise, I'm not saying power to my other devices. Now that I've done that, I will be able to get this to work. So you should be able to do these other two just like that. So now we have that working, and that's working. Let's see, solar panel. So I'll have two silicone plates, carbon fiber. That's what we need to do now. Let's see, is this done yet? I will wait for this to finish. And then we'll go upstairs and take care of the carbon fiber. And that's done on the rolling machine, or the compressor. I think it's the compressor, actually. And you're done. Sweet. At least if we can get one solar panel going, we'll be set. It'll help a lot. Um, recipe, no. Uh, raw carbon mesh in the compressor, which is raw carbon, which is coal dust. And the macerator, I bet. Oh, yes. Yep. All right. Oh. Um. Okay. And one coal dust. Okay. So let's check that again. That takes four. We need two of those, which is eight coal dusts. Four, five, six, seven. All right. That should give us what we need. And then, once we have all the coal dusts, then we can come up here. I replaced the uh, pulverizer with a rolling machine for now. So, once I have that and I'm ready to go with the rolling machine, I'll be back with you guys one moment. Alright, I'm back here with the coal dust. We're going to make two of those. This gives us this, which then we take the raw carbon, come up to the rolling machine. Uh, of course, I leave it in here. And I think that, oh no, I got to put that in the compressor. What am I thinking? The rolling machine. Ha! Huh. Compressor. There we go. And then I need some glass. I'm pretty sure I have some already, but if I don't, I do. I know. There we go. Need the glass panes. I need this, and oh, I need two circuits, circuits, all right, okay. I think I have everything I need now. 
Oh wait, that is a generator, is it not? Yep, it is. And I have one of those over here too. All right, let's go ahead and build us a solar panel. All right, let's see. Generator, glass panes, carbon fiber, silicone. Ta da! Now we just gotta figure out where we're gonna put this. Since all of our current power consumption comes from below, I think what we're gonna do. is we're going to put them right here. So as we collect solar panels, we'll put them here. And that way, we can feed them into the MFE, which will in turn feed them into everything else. So if I come here, Oh, might need to expand this wall out one more. Yep, that's what it looks like. No biggie. Oh, wow, talk about a super axe or a super shovel. Okay. Let's do this. And Fundaba. So what we'll do is we'll bring it from here over into the MFE. And of course I forgot my cabling upstairs. And then that will give us this solar panel there we go all right because at least this way um we'll have one solar panel and once i get my new building built i plan to have an array of solar panels on the roof so at least until then we can start with this one and that should help because I think at night yeah it doesn't tell me what it generates during the uh, it doesn't tell me what it generates but the advance requires quite a bit more to make And I need to I need to use my uranium for this. So yeah, definitely um, going to take a little bit to get some advanced solar panels, but that's next on my list. But at least I plan to get a few more solar panels so we can at least start taking advantage of those in our system. Uh, so but yeah, we. Uh, we're able to build quite a few machines today. I'm planning to build some more solar panels as we go. Um, that we're going to use. That, that. Okay. One final thing we're going to do is we're going to go check on the mine over yonder. That's what the night vision potion is for. It lets us uh, see in the darkness without having to light up the area. Um, but I think he's almost down the bedrock. Not quite yet, though. Yeah, let's see. And take 
cool potion. Look, we got some lovely mobs down there. Um, I wonder if we can make this safe to fight an Enderman. Hey, Enderman, I see you. Yeah, come on. The only place they can even get to me would be right here. And it doesn't look like it's working. Come on, buddy. Bring it on. I, I currently have my sounds off. I need to fix that real quick. Uh, options. All right. Normally I play with my sounds down just to keep the uh, keep them driving the wife crazy. Yeah, I don't even think they can hear me. Oh well. But as you can see, he's down there chopping away. Let's see if any of the Endermen teleport to fight me. I don't think so. Yeah, there's lots of uh, evil things out there. But I do want to see where we're at um, on the bottom level here. I'm pretty sure we're getting pretty close to bedrock. All right. And 22, so not too much further to go. He's almost there. Let's make this quick. So 22, about 18 more levels to go, maybe 16, not too much more. So I'm excited to have him finished finally. And hopefully we'll have enough reason. Oh hey, spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't catch me, sucker. You can't shoot that far. Well, it's right. Better stop. So, but anyways, you guys, um, that's going to be all for the episode today. Uh, but we got quite a bit done. We finally have a jetpack. Yay, we can fly. Um, beyond the jetpack, we got quite a few big machines in there. Uh, electrolyzer, the blast furnace, our first solar panel, um, I'm an MFE. So, yeah, I think I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, the next one's going to go here, then here. I'm just going to do an array of them around the room. Or something. But I am I'm pretty happy with the uh, progress we've made. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do next, or whatever, uh, go ahead and uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to... Uh, work on our main building over here next time. I almost have the diagram for it finished. I just need to, f uh, I need to go into a creative world and actually lay it out and see if it's going to work. Do I want or if I need to add some more to it or change a few more things? I'm not quite sure. Oh, hey, look, there's a wisp. Are you friendly, wisp, or do I have to kill you? Stupid spider. Yeah, you want to fight? That's what I thought, sucker. Don't mess with me. So, but anyways, you guys, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. I really appreciate uh, you guys' support. And as always, stay tuned for the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, everybody.
Peace.